My name is Danielle. My name is Cassidy. We love you, Glamma! Oh, I love you too, Glamma girls. Hi guys, Glamma here. Welcome back to Glam It Up with Glamma. So today we are going to be playing with my Tartlet Flirt eyeshadow palette and I'm going to be trying my Clinique foundation, Beyond Perfecting Foundation that I've been so excited to try. So yeah, if you want to see how I got this look using those products, then come on, let's go! <laughs> Okay, so before we get started, I think I'm going to put my hair up. I'm going to be using this new Hair Curlies hair tie that I got. A company contacted me and asked me if I would try them out and if I liked them, I could talk about them with you guys. So I've been testing them out for a couple of months. I think you may have even already seen it in my hair, I believe on my, was it my last video? I had a ponytail on. I'm not sure, I think that was the one. And I just love these. I wanted to test them out before I talk to you about them, but they sent me a black one and a clear one. The clear one I think is downstairs right now. Um, I think my granddaughter used it. So I am going to put my hair up and um, I will tell you what I love about these here in a minute. I'm gonna put my hair up so we can get our makeup on. Okay, so now that we've got our hair up, um, I'm going to go ahead and use this. I love how it looks like, um, you know, the telephone cords that we used to have back in the day. I just love how they look and I love how attractive they look on the wrist. You saw what it looked like on my wrist. Um, okay, so let me tell you what I love about these hair ties. What I love is how it keeps my ponytails up high. I love a high ponytail. I don't know why, I just always have. Tuck out a little bit of this hair, go like this. And once you do that, you don't even have to do that for the rest of the day. Once you've got it where you want it positioned, that's it, it's gonna stay there. I don't know if it's because of the design, the little curly Q design, but when your hair goes into those little curly Q areas, it just keeps your hair in place and I love it. So I'm gonna show you um, a website. I'm gonna show you their website, but look at how attractive it looks on a person's wrist. See, look at how attractive that is. Yeah, I just love that. I just love how it looks. They come in all kinds of colors. Um, tan, black, they come in a matte black, a shiny black greens. Let me see if I can hold the phone in a way where you can see everything. They come in, oh I love this color. I'm hoping that they'll send me this color soon. But they come in a, in a really light blue. Um, this is the color I want right there. That is so pretty. Let me click on that. Isn't that just so pretty? I love this color. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it comes in purples, whites, um, and yeah, just awesome. So you get three to a bundle, and I think they're $9 for three of them. Um, but I just love them. When you take it out of your hair, it looks a lot bigger. And then if you put it on your wrist, within like 10 minutes, it's like back to its normal size. I love that. They don't lose their shape. That's the good thing about it. With these, eventually, um, they start to wear out. They get too big. They, you have to wrap them around five or six times before you can keep your hair the way you want it. Um, so yeah, I love these. I've had this, this one and the clear one since before I moved here. I think I got them in Castroville. No, no, I got them once I moved here. Um, so I've been here since January, February, March, April, May. So this is going on four months. But I didn't want to bring them to you and show them to you until I tested them out and know for sure that I like them. I just wish I liked my hair as much. The other day when I had it in my hair, I had my hair curled, so yeah. Another thing you can do with these is I love to do a messy bun, so let me do a messy bun right now that my hair, see how it stretch, it gets stretched out? And you see how it doesn't hurt coming out of your hair or anything, so you can do a messy bun with these as well and it looks really cute. And if you have a different color one, it would look so cute. So yeah, I 
I love them. Um, and I wanted to let you know that I'll have a link down below for these hair curlies. That's what they're called, hair curlies. And if you use my code GLAMA10, then you'll get 10% off. And yeah, that's awesome, right? So I can't wait to get more. Yeah, but I thought I would share them with you because I really love them. I love the versatility of using them. So anyway, enough about that. Let's get on to the face. So first I'm gonna start off with my Fade Bright by Platinum Skin Care. And um, this is what I was telling you guys the other day. I think I posted a picture, but this is what's been helping with my dark circles, dark under eye circles. Um, and I usually put it under my eyes and bring it up around this way too, because I have darkness up here. And I also put a little bit right here, because you see I have a little bit of darkness there. So I've been putting some there too. I really see it helping on the under eye circle the most, which is what I really wanted this for. Um, I also have a code, I'll put it right here, Glamour 10, that you can go down to Platinum Skin Care's website and you can order this. I don't know how much it is, just go to their website and just type in Fade Bright and yeah, if you have the same types of issues that I do with dark circles, it's been helping. And at nighttime, I've been using this right here. It's also by Platinum Skin Care. It's Retinol 10, and I use this at night. You can use it either every other night or once a night, or you know, if you wanna do it in the daytime, just use it once a day, or you can use it every other day, or I've been using it at nighttime. Um, and I've only been using it every other night. Um, but that is supposed to help to reproduce collagen, firm up your skin, and yeah, just keep us looking healthy. It helps with the elasticity in our, in our face as well. Okay, so I am done with that, and now I'm going to put on some moisturizer after this sets in a little bit. Okay, so I think that has soaked in enough. I'm gonna use my Garnier Brightening Moisturizer all over my face. Okay, so done with the face prep, I think. No, not necessarily. I'm going to use my Porefessional now and uh, help cover up these deep pores that I have and fine lines. I just love how it smooths out. Look at that. I see a difference, huge difference when I wear this. Ouch, I just scratched myself. The bottom of my ring has a little sharp edge and I just scratched my chin, owie. Ooh, it's getting red. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna let that um, absorb and then we will go on with my foundation. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be trying my new Clinique foundation. Finally, Clinique Beyond Perfecting. Everyone's been talking about it, raving about it, so I'm so excited to try it. Alrighty, so the girl at um, Clinique color matched me. Just She just eyeballed it. She just saw, looked at my face. She took off a, um, some makeup from here and from here, and she looked at my skin, and uh, she, on the first try, color matched me. I think I told you all about that the first time when I did my Ulta Sephora haul uh, a couple weeks ago, and she color matched me almost as perfectly as at Sephora when they used an actual device. So I really like this. I hope I like it on. They didn't give me a sample or anything like they did at Sephora for the um, Kat Von D. But what I did when I went to both Sephora and Ulta is I took in the foundations that I love that are my favorite so far. And um, let me see. These were the three that I took in. I took in Milani. Um, it's a two-in-one Conceal and Perfect. I took in my Revlon. And I took in a Fit Me um, Stick Foundation. And I showed her that those are the shades I usually wear. Were they, were they good matches for me? She goes, yeah, they're actually pretty good matches. And she says, as a matter of fact, Milani is a dupe for Clinique. So if you don't want to spend... I don't remember how much this is. I'll put the price over here. But if you don't want to spend $20 to $30 or $40 on this, 
This, I think, cost $12 and I got it at Walmart. I'm sure you can get it at Target. You can even get it at Ulta. But yeah, she says this is um, a dupe for this. So yay. <laughs> um, and I really, I've, I've, I've raved about this before, so I know it's a good one. But let's try Clinique today. Awesome. Ooh. All right, let's try this. Oh, you know what? No, let's not do that yet. First, I have to use my Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. Yeah, I'm gonna use my BH brush. I don't know if you remember, but back when I was still living in Castorville, I had ordered these on uh, Black Friday and I haven't used them yet until just recently, once I got my Becca under eye corrector. I've used this one for eyeshadow and I love it. And I've used this one for the under eye correcting. So I've been using this rounded one for under my eyes here. And it just, this Becca under eye correcting um, little serum here, I love it. Look at automatically my dark circles disappear. So while that Fade Bright is working under the skin, this is working above the skin. Yay! <laughs> Need as much help as I can get. And the cool thing about this is that it's a teeny weeny bit tacky. So it's really cool because then when you put your foundation and your concealer over it, it kind of like holds on to the concealer and foundation and yeah. It's supposed to be for under eye, but I've been putting it above my eye too, just to help with that. So yeah, there's that. See, look at the difference, that versus that. Awesome. So you could get away with just this and maybe a tinted moisturizer and you would be good to go. Um, even though it's for under eye, because I have darkness here, I've been putting a little spot of it here too. So that's it. Okay. But um, yeah, with a little tinted moisturizer, I'd be ready to go because I've got my eyelash extensions and I've got my Wonder Brow on that stays on for two to three days. Loving both of these things, loving it because I pretty much look like I'm kind of sort of ready. Oh, you know what? I want to put some of this. I got this at um, Dollar Tree the other day. It's um, Palmer's Coconut Butter and it's for the lips. So I'm going to put this on to kind of moisturize my lips while I'm doing my makeup. That way when I'm ready to do my lipstick, my lips will be moisturized already. Okay, now let's try the Clinique. And it's supposed to be foundation and concealer, and uh, so we'll see. That was just, I just dunked it in twice and let's see what that does. I'm gonna use my 3D HD Max Kabuki brush. I need to clean it, it's been a couple weeks. Shouldn't go that long without cleaning your brushes. <laughs> I'm gonna make a video soon about cleaning, how I clean my brushes. Wow, I really love the color. I think I like this color more than I like the uh, Kat Von D color. Maybe they'll have this color in the Kat Von D shade or the Kat Von D brand. Wow, I like this. Look how good it matches my skin. Wow, I really like this. I like the shade and I didn't use very much because I don't want it to look cakey or anything. Um, and wow, it looks good close up. Wow. Let me get close so you can see what the coverage looks like. Make sure I got it around my mouth good. So here's the coverage. Matches really well, doesn't it? Look at that. Matches my skin really, really good. Okay, and now I am going to use um, a little bit of shape tape. So I put a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape just right here, just because I like my jaw 
my cheekbones to look a little more chiseled. So if you don't have them, if you got a chubby face like me because I'm overweight right now, then you can fake it. <laughs> like you like you have more sunken in cheekbones. So right now at the weight that I'm at, I have to fake it. <laughs> and this is how I fake it. All right. But um, so that's the only place I'm really using concealer today is just right here. Yep. Because this Clinique Beyond Perfect really is a two-in-one. All right, now I'm going to set it um, with my Makeup Forever setting powder that I got recently. Okay, you know what? I shouldn't have set my nose yet. I wonder if I can still use this because someone, I forget what your name is, but you wanted me to show you how I, um, how I contour with this darker concealer here. And so I'm going to show you, but it might not work now that I've already put powder on my face. Darn it. So what I do is I just very, I just barely kiss it and I do it one spot at a time. <laughs> barely put any on there because it is really dark um, let's see if it'll work with powder and then I just go in circular motions and just work it in I bring it up and I bring it right above where I just concealed yeah it still worked even with the powder awesome but usually I would do this and then I would set my makeup. <laughs> so, okay. I put a little, I went a little heavier handed on this side than I did this. I prefer this side. Um, and then I kind of, let's wipe it off. Put a little bit right here and I'll put a little over here. I'm not going to put any over there because I already kind of drug it over there. And work this in now. There. So there's that. And then, oof, this is the scary part because I'm not that great at contouring my nose, but we're going to try it because this is what I've been doing. Just very lightly drag it over here. Okay, and then I've been putting shape tape right next to it. Like a soul. <laughs> so adorable, aren't I? <laughs> And then what I've been doing is just kind of bringing the white, the sharp tape, shape, sharp tape, shape tape over this way. And just pouncing that in, just like kind of pushing, but I'm kind of sliding, but also stippling at the same time. Okay. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I am going to take my e.l.f. contouring powder palette here and I take this brush right here because what I do is whenever I set some, whenever I contour with liquid, I then set it with a powder contour so that it stays for sure. So now with the powder, I'm using this color. I'm just barely touching the brush to it. I go like that. Okay. With my Anastasia um, Amrezi highlighter. 
going to put a little exclamation mark on my nose. And now, I'm going to take the e.l.f. stippling brush again and just blend the contour with the highlight in. There, and that's it. That's how I contour with that darker concealer. Um, now, I am going to use my Hoola bronzer and I'm going to set in the um, contouring that I did with this. I'm also going to bring it down here because what you should do is it should be like a number three and an E. So you would go like this and like this, like this and like this. Okay. Now I am going to take a little bit of blush. I'm going to use my BH Duo Blush Palette and I'm going to use one of these colors. I'm not sure which one yet. Maybe I'll try this one right here. Okay, so there's that. Now I will highlight and soften up this contour a little bit with my highlight with the Anastasia Amrezi highlighter. Okay, so that's that for the highlighter right now. Later I'll put some on the inner corners. And once I do that, I take my big stippling brush and just barely, barely touch my skin. Just barely kiss the skin and just blend that all in so there's no harsh lines anywhere. There we go. And now I'm going to set that in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Feels so good. So refreshing. Okay, ooh, these eyelashes got all funky. Let me brush them. That's pretty much all you gotta do with these uh, eyelash extensions is just brush them so that they look even everywhere. Just move them around and stuff. Okay, now to what I consider the fun part is the eyeshadow. Yay! So we're going to get to try this Tartlet Flirt. So I went and I exchanged the other one because remember I showed you that when I got it the first time it was all messed up inside. Well, I got myself a nice one. Yay! It's a good one. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but you know what? I think I'm going to do my lips already. Hmm, yeah. Let me wipe this off. Wipe the cocoa butter off. And do the lips. Let's do the Giordana lip liner. Okay, got my lip liner on. And I think I'm going to use this, um, same number four Sephora brand lipstick that I used in my last video. Yeah. 
just going to kind of put it in the center. And then I'm going to take my CoverGirl Smoochies lip gloss. And I just put a dab in the center and just kind of spread it everywhere. That's it for the lip look. Now on to the eyeshadow. I'm going to put some hard candy eye eyelid primer. Okay. So while that is setting in and drying, it's a little bit tacky, so I wait for it to not be as tacky. Um, so eyeshadow or eyelid primer is really good to look more pigmented and it helps the eyeshadow to stay on longer and to not crease. So yay! Okay, I think that's good enough. Feels good. Um, ooh, so pretty. So I'm going to start off with this color all over. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start with this color. There are names on it, but they're so little. I have to... I'm going to start off with Gaze which is this one. Oh, it's light, it's just shimmery. Bring that all up here. Okay, so there's that color. Next, I have to decide which color to use as transition. Hmm. This color right here is called Playful, so I think I'm going to put that as my crease transition color. Let's see if it shows. Oh yeah, it does show. Nice. I keep telling myself to use this right here all the time, but I always forget so that I don't go beyond, whoops, this way, so that I don't go beyond a certain point. Let's see how that works. So you put it there, and that way you know you're not going beyond the part where you want to go. I got this at um, Target. That does help. Then you can blend it and know that you're not going to go beyond that spot. Nice! I like that. Okay, on to the next eye. And then for this eye, you just flip it the other way and it works perfectly. Nice! Okay, I can't decide between this one and this one to put on my inner corner. Let me see. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to try a trick that Nicole Guerrero does. She puts a little bit of concealer kind of low over here. And then she blinks, looks up, and then right here, wherever it hits there, that's where she knows that she does her cut crease. So I'm going to do that. Blend that in a little bit. I've never tried this trick. I see her do it all the time, but I've never tried it. And you can bring it as far as you want. You can do a full cut crease. Hmm, should I do a full cut crease? I hardly ever do a full one. I think I'm just going to do like a three-quarter cut crease. And so what that does is it places it exactly where you want it and it makes your eyeshadow more pigmented when you use it as well. So let's get another flat synthetic brush and I need to decide which color to use. Let me swatch them. 
So here's passion. I don't know if you can see it. And then here's touch. This one is called touch. Ooh, they're both pretty. You know what? I think... Ooh, I don't know. I think I'll go with touch. So you see how pigmented that is? It gets way more pigmented than it looks on my hand because you've got that concealer on your lid. That is really pretty. Um, I'm going to blend this a little bit just because I can still see a little bit of the concealer. I still need a little practice with this. So I'm going to blend it just a teeny bit to get the concealer to not show there. That's nice. Okay. All right, on to the next eye, and then I'm going to put a darker color probably over here and in the corner, but I'll be back. I'm going to go do the same thing to the other eye. Okay, so both eyes are done. Ugh, let me brush these eyelashes again. All right, so now I want to... Usually you darken up your crease line as much as you want it, then you do the cut crease, but I got a little ahead of myself. <laughs> so I'm going to do that now. Let me see which brush I want to use. I'm actually going to use this really small e.l.f. brush. I like how it's angled and it's dense, so it's going to go into the corner just the way I want it. So I'm going to use the color... Snuggle. That's such a cute name. So I'm going to take a little bit of Snuggle and I'm going to put it over here like so in the corner. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to use that thing, didn't I? So I'm going to use that. And now that most of the product is off the brush, now I'm going to carry it this way a little bit. There we go. I'm going to do that to the other eye. That's good. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to blend that a little bit. And I'm going to touch a little bit of this first color that I used right here to blend it in right here. Okay, so that's for that. I think I'm going to take Passion right here, this one right here, and I'm going to put a little bit right over this line so that there's not an obvious um, line right there. See how that looks. It's just very subtle but it's there. Yes. Okay. So there's that, and I'm going to blend that a little bit. And now I'm going to do the exact same thing I did to the top down to the bottom. I'm going to use um, Playful again on a smaller brush. I'm going to use my pencil brush, and I'm going to take Playful, put it down here, So I put Playful underneath both eyes, and now with a smaller pencil brush, I'm going to take Snuggle again and put that just on the outer corners to match what's going on over here, like that. And now I'm going to wipe that off, and I'm going to take Touch again, and I'm just going to touch it. <laughs> and put that kind of like in the middle right here. The inner corner to the middle, boy. So yeah, there's that. I think I'm done with the eyes with the Flirt palette. So I like it. Um, now I am going to um, get my Amrezi highlighter again and do the inner corners of my eye, the tear duct area. Someone's at the door. I'll be right back. 
Okay, I'm back. It was someone who does lawn care and wanting to know if we wanted our lawn done. And no, I have a lawn boy, my husband. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm done with that. I'm out of breath going up and down the steps. Okay, now what? Do I want to do eyeliner? Yeah, I think it's missing eyeliner. Yeah, let's do eyeliner. Gonna use my Kat Von D again. Love it. Let me shake it up. I really need practice doing this with my eyelashes. They get in the way. You kind of have to go above, above them and then down. I went way too thick on this, but hey, that's a look in itself, right? <laughs> Alright, on to the next eye. Okay, I notice my battery's about to die, so I'm gonna try to hurry. Um, I'm gonna use my brown, my dark brown NYX pencil. Because I like brown on the bottom lid, bottom tight line. Especially when I've got something so heavy going on up there with that liner. Um, this kind of softens the look a tiny bit. Okay, so there's that. Okay, on to mascara on my bottom lashes. I'm using my Voluminous Lash Paradise right here. It's a dupe for Better Than Sex mascara. Works just as good, I think. So I only put a little bit of mascara onto the next eye. I don't like to put a whole lot of bottom lash mascara. So I'm gonna go to the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm done with that. And that is pretty much it. I think I'm gonna do a couple more squirts of my all nighter now that I have my eyeshadow on so that my eyeshadow stays on all night as well as my face makeup. So let's do that. There we go. Ooh, feels so refreshing. All right, so I'm gonna go take my hair down and I'll be right back. So this is the final look and I hope you enjoyed this video. Here's the eye makeup. And yeah, I had a lot of fun playing with my new makeup, Tartlet Flirt Palette and my new Clinique um, foundation. So yay, I love both. I love the eyeshadow palette. I love the foundation. I love the color match that she used for me. Awesome. I'm going to definitely have to replace this when it's all gone. So yay. All right. So that's it, I guess. Um, let me know down below um, what you thought about the makeup. I went a little heavier on the eyeshadow than I initially intended to. Um, I think it's the eyeliner. I went too heavy on the eyeliner, but hey, couldn't take it off at that point. Alrighty guys, don't forget how much I love you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you can be notified as soon as I put up a new video. But like I always say, don't forget how much I love you. Don't forget to love yourselves and everyone you come in contact with. Alright, bye! Thank you for watching our Glamos channel.